There you are. Welcome to Zen Fits <coughs> here in Blackstone, Virginia, this, Virginia, the center of the world. I haven't given a talk this week. Uh, suddenly, the impulse was was not there. Um, if the talk doesn't come and grab me and say, "Oh, you got to talk, you got to speak," uh, I don't do it. And and but but there's a. Uh, there's a, there's a kind of uh, tension or unease in not doing. So let's talk about the double bind, uh, the trap of the double bind. If you don't understand what the double bind is, you're going to be trapped. <laughs> Basically, a double bind is where no matter what you do, you lose. Lose, lose. Try this, no good. Try that, no good. And so you end up in a double bind where your best efforts, your good intentions, just create the same bind. You can't figure it out. You can't figure out why. All your strategies, all your strengths, all your good intentions, your merit, all of your good works don't work. So the advice usually is, oh, if you don't know what to do, do nothing. If you don't know what to do, do nothing. Um, but I question that because doing nothing there's, there's a nagging tension in it. I, I should be doing something. So it's like this talk, my talks. Uh, these are spontaneous. Uh, I have a topic, <laughs> usually at the last minute, and then I just let it go. I don't know where it's going to go. But then there comes a time when, eh, just what's the use? Nobody listens. I don't what's the use? People don't understand what I'm saying. What's the use? You know, so there's this kind of what's the use? And then I don't do the talk. But then there's a f unease in not doing the talk. It's not that, oh, I should be doing the talk. It's just a, an unease in doing nothing. This is the double bind. There's unease when I you know, when well, I'll say when when something you're doing seems to have no use, there will come a time where you say, "Oh, what's the point? What's the use?" So we want to have we want to do something that's useful, but when it really doesn't appear to be useful, and if you, and for me, if I don't do the talk, nobody mentions no it's like I never existed what's the use what's the use so a friend of mine, I was telling him a friend of mine that I was not doing any talks it just didn't just didn't come up what's the use so he said go ahead and do it <laughs> so I said okay so I think this is the way out of the double bind the double bind is and this is this is uh, defined by a, a philosopher named Kessler, I believe. It was in uh, I, I really profoundly understood it by reading uh, Creative Consciousness by Albert Lowe, uh, where he based his whole the double bind of consciousness itself. Consciousness is a double bind. When we're in consciousness, we can't get out. We can't get to awareness. We can't get to whole action. Everything is fragmented. When you're caught in the double bind, you do this. A fragment means two, at least two. Two fragments. You can break into many, but you at least have two. And each one is a good idea. Each one is valid. But they're fragments of the whole. So the one the one whole mind, 
the one I am, the one you that's whole, that you know exists, splits into two. And each one is whole. If you look at this one, you don't see the other. If you look at this, you don't see this, you see. You can't look at both of them at the same time. So we look at this and we think the fragment is whole. Let's take this for instance. Now I'll bring up my old gestalt image of amb ambiguity. You got the old hag. Here's her, her eye and her nose. And you got the princess. Here is the princess's eye her right eye, and here's her chin, and here's her necklace. So this is the mouth of the hag and the necklace of the princess. Now you can only, if you see the hag, you only see the hag. If you see the princess, you can only see the princess. So this is ambiguity. It's two that's one. It's fragmented, you see, but each fragment is a whole, and you can only see each fragment as the whole. But there's a tension here. If you focus on the, uh, if you focus on the hag, hold, 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 the princess appears. Now focus on the princess, hold, 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 and the hag appears. They oscillate. They go back and forth on their own. You can't stop it. You can't stop the oscillation because the one, or the whole, must be whole, but it's two. So it oscillates back and forth, trying to hold the one, but it can't hold the one because the one is two. And this is the mind in a double bind, where you've got this uh, imperative, you should do this, or you got this imperative, you should do that. You hold, you try to do that, but the opposite comes up. And then you hold, and I'm going to be good, I'm going to stop smoking, but then the smoking comes up. <laughs> so whenever we split ourselves into two faces of the same mind, two ideas that are both valid, but they're contradictory, when we split the mind into that, we fragment the mind, we fragment the world, and we suffer in the double mind where nothing we do, where everything is lose-lose. Lose, lose, you know. We're all struggling in double binds because the double bind is consciousness itself. So what's not in the double bind? Well, in Zen, it's pure, it's awareness. You can check it out for yourself. You're sitting in a room. Now you can focus on different things in the room. You know, I can say, uh, focus on this. So if you focus on the, just like with a camera, if you zoom in and focus on the object, the background fades, blurs, you see. So there's two here. There's the object and there's the background. But then I will say, well, okay, I said, well, I'll focus on that. And then you focus on that and this is in, this blurs, fades into the background. Focus on that picture, this fades into the background. Focus on that, this is in the background. Now the background and the object, you see, we think are separate, but they're not, they're one. You can't, the object is brought out of the background by our consciousness, by my selectivity. I select things in the room to be aware of. Cameras do this, you select a bird on a fence and the woods falls is blurred. The background blurs when you zoom in on the object. We think, oh, the object is separate from the back, but it's not. You can't separate the object. You can't in Photoshop. That's why we don't believe pictures anymore. With Photoshop, you can separate the foreground from the background and change the background or change the object. We can manipulate reality. But in reality, in the room you're sitting in, you can't separate any object in that room from the room unless you go into an abstract reality of Photoshop, take a picture of the room, and then you can change a picture on the wall, but the room has not changed, you see. So we live in a fundamental reality that is whole. The foreground and the background are one. The foreground object is separate from the background 
different, but it can't be separated. You can't, Andy Warhol played with this, you take a soup can. Can you separate the soup can from reality? Can you separate anything from its background? Can you separate anything in your room, in the real room you're in, from the whole room, you see? But our mind is like Photoshop. Our mind can separate. Everything is separate. Everything is fragmented. This was Picasso's art. He painted fragmentation. <laughs> he painted fragmentation, hoping with the idea that if you could see the fragmentation, you'd be whole. So if you can see the fragmentation of the double bind, the split in your mind into two ideas, both of which are good but contradictory, each one cancels out the other, we call that catch-22. Everything cancels each other out, so you don't do anything. You don't do, you do nothing. But that's where Zen steps beyond if you don't know what to do, do nothing. Because nothing is doing something. And you can't rest in not doing anything when you should do something. So there's something beyond something and nothing. There's something beyond the double bind. So the double bind is, in consciousness, is the portal to whole awareness, to seeing the whole picture, to seeing holistically instead of fragmentedly, to seeing intuitively, to see the whole of me and the world as one whole instead of two, you see. So consciousness is I'm here and the world's there. That's two. That's duality. And I'm, I'm here and the world's there and I'm always in conflict with the world because it just won't give me what I want. No matter how I try, I lose. The house always loses in Las Vegas. The house always wins, you see. The world always wins. So we try for a while and then we get old and quit. <laughs> we do nothing. But that's not the answer. That's not that's not uh, that that's not going beyond the double bind. The double bind is where doing something is no good and doing nothing is no good. So what do you do? Well, you just get up and do it. You just get up and do the talk. You just bypass the double bind. Oh, it's no good. I should do nothing, but nothing is no good, so I should do something. Some, I should do something, but I don't know what. I shouldn't, do, but when I don't know what, when I don't do anything, that's no good either. Wow, 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 you see. Just do it. Fuck it. <laughs> just do it, you see. And this is the act of faith, only faith, the act of faith that doesn't rest on the double bind. I should do this or I should do that. What should I do? Should I do this or that? Should I get this job or that? Oh, well, maybe the Bible will help. Maybe Jesus will tell me. Maybe this therapist will tell me what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't do nothing. Can't do something. Fuck it. <laughs> Be the cow that jumps over the crescent moon the horns of dilemma. The cow, the cow jumps over the crescent moon. Yeah, a fairy tale. No, this is a truth. The crescent moon is the horns of the bull, the horns of the dilemma, where if you do this, you get gored by the other. If you do this, you get gored by this, you see. I get gored no matter what I do. What do I do? You jump over it. You just do it. You just jump over it. You just do it. No thinking, no question. Just do it. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs>